Hi, I'm Helena, and this reading is going to be um, a little bit different. This is going to be a past life reading, and I'm going to be using this deck. It's um, the Phoenix Cards by Susan Shepard, and there's only 28 cards in this deck. So I'm just going to pull one card for this reading and then I'll do some more. Um, okay, so I did some readings for myself with these cards and I really liked them. They were really deep and so I thought I would uh, do a reading with them just to let you guys see the deck. I mean, it's beautiful. This is what the back looks like. And they're pretty big. See, there's only 28, so it's kind of it's really skinny. And then these are like some of the images on there. See like this angel. There's the this is the Hawaiian one, the waterfall one. This is the African one. I forgot which tribe this is. And there's just like a bunch of them. Like maybe I'll do a separate video on all the different one, all the different um, people in this card. See like the ancient like cave paintings, and I think that's like the cave painting in France or something. Here's the, the Hopis, Aztecs, okay, so I'll get started with the reading, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pull one card for this reading, okay? So let's find out more about this one past life for this group of individuals who will be watching this video. So this is for anyone watch that is going to watch this video. Tell us more about their past life. Tell us more about their past life. And we got the angel one. Okay, so XVI. Excuse the airplane, sorry about that. Renaissance Angel, that's what it's called. chosen the Renaissance Angel for your past life symbol, you are versatile, multifaceted, and most of all curious for asking one more question. You wish to express yourself clearly in everything which you yearn to unlock. Often you are unable to relax and your nerves tend to be unsettled. Your mind spins out of control, putting your body in a state of constant turmoil. Because of this, you may suffer from stress-related illness as your body reacts to these inner conflicts. 
You are especially interested in philosophy and medicism, and mysticism. Um, your view of mysticism is revealed through an interest in higher laws of theology, poetry, and platonic philosophy. The idea of these celestial beings and heaven intrigues you. You may not be particularly religious in a traditional sense, but you are interested in the roots of Christianity and intrigued by the life of Christ. Somehow, story represents an inner expression of yourself. Oh, somehow this story represents an inner expression of yourself. Pagan ideas are also a source of intrigue, but you are not one to focus your interests too intensely on, on in any one direction. You want to leave yourself open to consider many possibilities. You may begin projects with great enthusiasm only to peter out when you come up with a brand new idea. It is essential that you learn how to finish a project. If you are an artist or a writer, you may have many unfinished paintings or stories. If you had a brilliant idea for building a dream home, it is most likely still unfinished. You deny the world great gifts with such chronic procrastination. In this way, you are a Leonardo type character. Vasari wrote this about the sullen eyed bearded master in Irid Eridition I don't know how to say that word. And especially in literature you would have derived a great profit. I'll show you the word. If it'll focus. It's right there. Anyways, sorry. <laughs> and especially in literature, he would have derived great profit if he had not been so changeable and unstable. He started many things and when they begun, he gave up, he gave them up. You may have an advanced sense of spatial perception and face recognition and are more talented oh face recognition and are more talented at remembering faces than names you may have had problems in reading at school or drew certain letters of the alphabet backwards as a child but it didn't take you long to develop into an above average reader Art has been a source of pleasure for your, for you throughout your life, and it is likely that you will have some artistic skills in many different media. You are easily stimulated by creative opportunity. However, complete freedom of expression is a must. You cannot excel or feel good about yourself when you are trying to confront and this is a big problem for you. You find conformity impossible and confusing. You are never one to follow a crowd. You are especially rebellious, rebellious or subversive, but you only know how to do things your own way. You have a special unique vision of the world. You tend to view your own life as a work of art that only you can fashion into something higher, good or even great. Your inability to flow with the masses is sometimes discouraging and you may feel like an alien dropped from another realm. Just remember that when you refuse to fit in, 
you can only stand out. Even though it may be lonely at times, in this way you are akin to the Renaissance masters. You can make a difference by leading others to higher levels of change through your vision. All others can only follow. Okay, well, I just want to let you know as well that um, if this lifetime resonated with you, um, just remember this is, it could be only one of many thousands or even countless lifetimes. So, um, even if it didn't resonate with you, there could be a, a hidden message in there for you to divine for yourself. And what I'm getting from this is, um, that, that throughout your life, you're constantly shedding old, um, parts of yourself and you're refining yourself and you're growing into someone that you're really loving and you're really getting to know and you're like glowing with intuition and I don't know why but sobriety is coming to me and also um it's just like a knowing that you're that you've gained over the years and it's almost like you're liberating yourself like your old self through your new your new ways and your new self so um i hope this reading provided you with some guidance and thank you for watching if you liked it um please uh subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos okay and um I hope to see you in my next past life video and I'm gonna be pulling some more cards, okay? Thank you, bye.